Welcome back to the Hubson Mini, the recovery version. Now, I've had a couple of flights. They've been pretty good. Um, the batteries held up. Uh, the drones held up. The pits, that's another story. Remember we tried the sewing machine oil? Well, I had a couple of flights after that, and it went back to the jello. I've been after Hubson for a few weeks to get some pits. They finally sent me some, and later on I'm going to show you that. But right now, we're going to look at doing a waypoint mission. And just have a look to see if you can see if there's any jello or any shake or drop frames in the yaw. You let me know. I'm not too worried about the white balance in and out and the, you know, anything else, but you let me know. Here we added some simple waypoints, a one, two, three, four, and then we also added a focal point. Okay, so let's go back to here. Let's get up in the air. The home point has been updated. Please be mindful of the new return to home point. That. It is pretty solid. So let's get it up before we start that camera. Let's get it up to our 50 meters. Okay, come down a bit. And we're going to go and set that EV value up one. There we go. A little bit. Start that video. Back to here. Upload. We're done. The focal point is there. Well, I guess that's what's going to happen. Start. Waypoint the drone is about to start a waypoint mission. Okie dokie. And we're going to look and see where it's going. And it's heading to number one. Okay, it's heading to number two. Can we see it on the map? We can't see it on the map, can we? Yes, we can. There it is. Okay, I'm going to watch the little picture in the bottom. And I think... Yeah, that horizon's off again a little bit. Can bring down a little bit more? There, see the horizon's off? Yeah. Let's see how it's going to go. It just is pointing to that waypoint that is over here. Okay, way over there. We're at number two. What I'm looking for is a transition. 1001, 1000. It has a slight. Look at that horizon. Oh my goodness. Now, can we change the speed? No, it's up there. Okay, back we go. There it goes. We still got the video going. All right? Video's still going. Back we go. And it's heading out there. And it's heading out about 400 meters. We haven't lost connection yet. to about 450. I think it's about 450 out there. Yeah, we're still up about 83%. And this is actually the battery that was underwater. There we go. And then it should be coming backwards, basically. But what is that horizon like? Okay, what is that horizon like? That's a little better now. We'll see the video. We'll have the big video at the end. You see the whole thing. Maybe put some music to it or something. Music does create a whole new character for video. But remember, this was in the lake, in the debris, in the silt, and the crud, and the fishy stuff. And uh, we dried it out, blew it off, came back to life. 
Then I was after Hubson for a couple of weeks to get some pids and I sent them the images and I sent them the videos and I sent them what I did to the drone. And they sent me back a new set of pids. Now I'm gonna show you the old pids here. These are the old pids. And these are the new pids. And the new pids, the only thing they changed was the pitch settings. And you have to use the Hubson tool to do that. And I did that this morning and since then I've had, this would be the fourth flight since changing the pids. And we're trying to find out if there's any jello. Okay, I noticed in the yaw there was a slight hiccup, like it dropped a frame or two, but you be the judge. So it's come back now and it's finished the mission. What does it do when it finishes the mission? It just hovers there. It returns to home if you are disconnected, okay? And it still maintains doing the video. So let's just do a yaw here. And we'll see how many times it skips. It's a very slow yaw, as you can see. There it goes. And then I'll just bring it down when I get around to the frying pan lake there. Here we go. Okay, then we'll come down. comes and we'll stop the video when it gets down a little bit okay so we're just gonna let it land now if you want to hand catch the easiest way to hand catch a Hubson is when it's hovering in front of you you put your hand underneath the sensors underneath detect you there it rises up you put, pull the left stick back, so you're forcing a landing, and as soon as it starts to descend, let go of the stick, and you grab it or let it rest in your hand, and the propellers automatically stop. That's all there is to it, pretty easy. So we're gonna roll the whole video from this waypoint mission, and please read the description below and leave a comment. Scrutinize the video. I know that the horizon is horrible, but I've sent it to Hubson. Maybe there's some more they can do with it. Till next time, enjoy.